Support companies that help support the Stony Ridge Farm. Subscribe to the channel and contact Farm Fence Solutions for all of your fence building and tornado wire needs. Hey guys, welcome to Sasoni Ridge Farm. This is the funnest day off the farm that I have all year long. This is the Fall Fence Forum here in Worthington, Indiana, and it's fencing competition day. So you'll see all sorts of post driving equipment. All these guys are building fence out here and it's competition time. We've got people from Mexico. We've got people from the UK. We've got people from all over the world. So basically this is kind of a little bit of a world championship challenge fence build out here in Worthington, Indiana. So today you're gonna to get to see, everyone has the same materials, everybody is building the same fence, everything is to the same spec, it's all wood post, it's a little bit of barbed wire, a little bit of woven wire from tornado wire, all this stuff is set out here for an awesome day of competition. The sun's coming up in beautiful Worthington, Indiana, and we're gonna have some fun. Who we got here? Hey, good morning, Jake Wilson. Jake Wilson, Wilson Fence Wilson out of- Wilson Fence out of Lexington, Virginia. Lexington, Virginia. He's a judge, or two judges, you and Sticks, Sticks. Fencing. Yep, out of uh, Paris, Kentucky. Paris, Kentucky. So take me around a little bit and show me what we got. I guess you've got a map of the course right here in I your hand. I have a map. Uh, but it's easier to walk. A couple papers down here. Let's <laughs> just show you real quick. Okay. Uh, a couple um, big obstacles they've got this morning. Uh, number one is this hill and the transition uh, coming up it with wire. So we'll start at the bottom, about at the tree line down there. <clears throat> There'll be a uh, the start of the hill, so you may look for some underground work there for them to uh, produce some kind of mechanism that's going to hold the post down as the wire tries to pull it up. Gotcha. So and they'll come uh, break up over this hill. I'll be interested in the post selection and how they choose to navigate that. We'll come into the flat. So on this lane here, they'll come to this flag and they'll put about uh, a 30 degree bend in the fence. You may see some underground work here. You, say, you may see another brace. You may see a lean post. So this is a, another way that the contestants can differentiate themselves. And then we'll terminate uh, about 24 feet from that turn here. From this termination point, there'll be a four foot gate, which you see laid out. Yep. And then we'll go into what I uh, anticipate will be kind of the thing that splits the most hairs and defines the team, which is an inside corner of boards. Gotcha. So it'll be a 16-foot panel uh, with an inside corner here and a, another 16-foot panel of boards, and that is where the competition will stop. This is where we go. There'll be a corner right here. It's hard to picture. You'll see it later. That corner, this is all wood fence. The gate is going to be right in there. Okay, and we'll walk down right here. There's a slight dip right here. So the ground dips down right here and then goes over this hump. That's to prevent washing. It's kind of a swale. And if you go all the way down to the bottom of this hill, you guys are gonna see this in this entire video. You're gonna see it. I have to negotiate another dip. So it goes down like that and it rises up down there at the end. These guys are judged on safety first. They're also judged on efficiency, efficiency, fit and finish, just how well the fence looks. And it's a super big challenge to get all this done in an eight hour day. Eight isn't it? hours, I yep. don't anticipate that everybody's gonna be able to finish. Yep, yep, so guys, 
you start cheering them on. Give me your best guesses early on as to who is gonna finish and who is not. And as we cruise through here, we'll mention and uh, we'll go around and see all the fence builders. And really it is a huge challenge to navigate going up that steep hill without that post trying to lift. So if you guys think about it, it's like a rubber band. It's kind of like, uh, uh, like a bow and arrow. Yeah, like a bow that, and arrow. That, uh, post is is the uh, arrow right so and it the has wire to wire is the the string on the bow and it'll lift that post what you guys don't know is what's under the ground right here or the teams <laughs> yeah or the teams don't know nobody knows so this was an old mine site and there's just been dirt brought back in and covered up the old mine site so there is rock and all sorts of stuff underneath the ground right here so there are going to be some challenges you'll probably see some auger bits drilling and this stuff this is not gravy building conditions yeah it's going to be awesome Guys, I hope you enjoy. is actually competing this year. This is called a chamfer. It's where it's routed out on the top edge of the post. What that does is when they drive, it helps keep the splinters from popping off of the post if the post is too dry, and it also has a beautiful fit and finish. Post driver has a built-in auger system for digging. In case you have to pre-dig your holes, everything you need to build a fence. He's building the start of what's called a rance brace. A brace is trimmed up right here. It'll go on the ground right over here, and it'll be plugged right into the fence. The folks that are beating the bushes out here got some guys that already have about 12 posts in the ground and we are just on hour number one so we'll see you guys in about two hours when these guys really start working i hope you're enjoying the video please hit that like button as you're cruising through here subscribe to the channel you'll see more awesome stuff like this we're off the farm today and we're learning about fencing that's what this is all about learning be sure you stick around to the end we're going to walk through all these and we're going to go through with the judges and we're going to talk about fit, finish, and the quality build of these fences.
what you're seeing here is called a rance brace. You can see how it's mortised in right here. There's some sealant on there to help preserve the wood, to protect it since it's already been cut uh, and exposed the non-factory pressure treated surface. And then you can look right down here. I've done a pretty artistic uh, setup right there below ground. That'll be below grade, it'll be buried once the fence is completely done. Really nice looking. The wire being used here today, guys, is Tornado Wire 842-6. It's a Titan knot, which is that knot you see right there. It's a fixed knot. That means eight, eight line wires horizontal, 42 inches high, and six inch spacing between the stays. These are the stays, these are the line wires. This is the height, 42 inches. Something a little bit unique right here. Sliding our fence boards into a little mortised area there. Slide that in here. This is really gonna make this fence stand out, and stand apart from the competition. I've seen nobody else doing this. As you can see here, these fellows already have all their posts in the ground. They already have their board fence up right here. They doubled up on the corner. It's an inside corner, a bit of a challenge. You can see right now, we're pulling wire and stretching wire, and this is a typical H brace that you'll see on most farms. I tend to lean away from the H brace nowadays because there's an entrapment hazard for your animal. So this down low, a horse or a cow can get their foot hung in there. But these guys have addressed that issue by tightening that wire up really tight down there looks really good. Classic. Check this out. Everybody's watching this. Somebody's fence is pretty. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. Dr. Sticks, what do you think here? What do you think about that? Oh, I think uh, everybody's doing a phenomenal job. We're yeah. seeing some new techniques here today. Absolutely. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be awesome. You seem really excited about that. Yeah, yeah, I'm very excited. All right. <laughs> <laughs> This is the uh, fence resting crew. They, they put they put this up just so we could lean on it. Testing a little lean. How's it do on the lean test? It's it's 100 percent. All right, that's good. <laughs> like a glove. Y'all have never seen a board stretcher right there. There's a board stretcher. <laughs> well, judges, what do you think? Well, these guys have put in a long day. I yeah. mean, eight hours up and down this hill, busting their butt. Started cool, you know, well before uh, the sun came up. Yeah. Uh, here we are in the last, I think, 20 minutes. They are tuckered out, and rightfully so. We've got <laughs> one team that's finished. Yep. Uh, the remaining ones are, are trying to put the polish and touches on their fence line, and they're working hard. They've, they've earned a rest tonight, for yeah. sure. 15 minutes left. 15 awesome, minutes. guys. 15 minutes. So, guys, we managed to steal the judging stick from the judges. This has basically all the specs written on it, and we're going to take you guys over and show you really quickly the spec that we're building these fences to, just so you guys know exactly how they're judged, and then we'll show you the winner at the end of this. So, this is the side for the board fence, okay? And the board fence has to be built to a certain spec. We're gonna lay our spec post out right here, and you can see their spec is off. The board is off, okay? You see, it's just ever so slightly off, all right? Now, they did give points for flow, so the fence flows very well, but the spec is off just a tiny bit, okay? Now, 
we go over here to the wire fence. And again, this is woven wire, tornado wire. We'll flip this guy around, fix knot, and these are all the wires, okay? So the ground goes there. Uh, the, the wire meets the spec right there. The fixed knot meets the spec. You can see each line almost lines up, but not quite, okay? This is our top of the net wire. That's the line. It's just ever so slightly off, and our two barbed wire marks are ever so slightly off. Top of the post was supposed to be at 55 inches, and this was just a little bit high. These are the guys that finished first. However, we're not just judged on how fast you do it, we're judged on fit and finish also. So you can see it's just ever so slightly off. It would have been a good idea for each one of these fencers to make one of these guides for themselves as they built the fence. And this is the fellows with the H brace right here. So just slightly off the spec, but not too far off. Again, the post is supposed to be at 55 inches and this is about uh, three quarters of an inch too high. You can just go down and read each individual post and that's what the judges are doing all the way down through here. So we've got two strands of barbed wire, our net wire, then down at the bottom, we've got our uh, wire that they use to mark the straight line and all that's supposed to be the same. So this should be stapled right along with that. As you can see right here, both wires are supposed to be together. So this fence was done first, but it just didn't quite meet the spec. Does that mean it's not a high quality fence? Absolutely not. This is a fantastic fence, guys. All these folks that are working here today are fantastic fence builders. Now it's time to let the judges do their work. This is the last two minute warning. <laughs> <laughs> Now right, guys, remember, whether they're done or not, we quit at four o'clock. A full eight hour day here. Lots of work to get done. These guys were boogieing today. Time's up, put your tools down. Grab all your tools and get them out of the lane. Time's up guys, and there's probably two or three crews that didn't finish. We're gonna take a look at their work. Uh, man, what a rough day, what a long day for everybody. All right, guys, we're with Jake Wilson, Wilson Fence, and we've got a clear winner. So we we're gonna let him take us around, show us what made it important, what made it win, the fit and finish, and meeting the criteria. The winner of this year's uh, Fall Fence Forum Shootout was Luke Gibson and Langley, uh, Gavin Langley of Langley's Fence. And uh, here are the reasons that uh, we chose them as the winner. Uh, number one, right up top, the fit and finish of their four board fence was uh, absolutely flawless. Uh, the boards are straight across the top. There's no bow in them just about whatsoever. Uh, the tops of the posts were rounded over before driving, uh, allowing them to hit them with maximum impact without shearing them out. What they did then was they mortised in these uh, boards on either end, they're one by six by 16 pine board, uh, and they popped them in by flexing the board, cutting them to length, and uh, letting off that flex, which allowed them to fully seat. I believe they were probably about uh, an inch and three quarter to two and a half inches with a router bit. They used a template to get in here. Uh, then they drove their center post uh, exactly evenly between the two terminal posts. So one of the things we're looking for is spacing, evenness. A lot of this is judged with a a level and a tape measure. Post heights were perfect. Their gate swings flawlessly, lands right on the center of the post. Their knot and wire work was exceptional. Everything is uniform. Everything is where it should be. The fit and finish of the uh, strut, their mortise work, the treatment after. Now if we come down, we see how their strut locks into their stubby. Uh, very little gaps anywhere, excellent craftsmanship. Uh, the stapling is as it should be. The splice is right here. Uh, the knots are lined up. Uh, put barbs on for a little extra flare after the figure eight. Uh, they're almost consistent six inch space and all the way down. And then their bottom uh, line wire is also uh, figure eighted. Their breast block on the turn post is executed with uh, absolute precision and uh, the angles all uh, correspond to the way that they should be. Uh, they 
flow is adjusted uh, to stay within the spec range, but we specified that the flow of the fence would trump uh, the specifications that we gave for line height, overall post height, and, and they did a very good job of balancing that. As they come down into the bottom of the hill and return to the flat, they've elected to go with a tie down uh, block or a foot that they have uh, drilled in at an angle, rammed in uh, with wire and secured here to keep this post from heaving uh, due to frost heave or more than likely freeze thaw moisture and pressure of the wire up. Again, they continue a nice uh, uh, flow with the uh, ground. They try to stay parallel with the ground or the appearance of it. Uh, they come down to a nice uh, terminal point here and again the wire work uh, has got a, a little flare there with a two-point barb after a high tensile termination knot. Flawlessly executed positive lean to the king post. A very tight mortise here and just some a superior fence. Um, Really, really happy with those guys and proud to call them my friend, but also proud of everybody that competed here. The, the level of, uh, of craftsmanship, of following specs, of just building superior fence has really gotten to a very high level here at Default Fence Forum and, and uh, proud to be a part of it. Me too, me too, guys. If you want to come and learn, check out the Fall Fence Forum for 2023. This is the place to learn how to build the best fence you've ever seen in your life. And if you're building fence on your property, this is the best place to come and meet the best contractors in the country. It really is. So awesome, guys. Well, thanks so much, Josh, man. Thank you. Mr. Wilson, <laughs> great dude, great guy, true cowboy. Uh, guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm today. I hope you enjoyed the Fall Fence Forum fencing competition. The clear winners are right here. Uh, we've got an awards banquet to do, and we've got uh, a little bit of fun to have tonight, a little campfire fun. So, guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. What a great day. What an educational day. What a fun day building fence. And now we got to get these boys on the Stony Ridge Farm building fence for us. Take care. Have a wonderful day, guys. See you. Woo! Wait a minute. Woo! Woo! Here we go. We got live filming, li live filming, live filming, filming, live, live filmers. <laughs> Ooh, look at them legs, boy. Ooh, woo! <laughs> Cowboys ain't easy to load when they're harder to judge. <laughs> Cheer wine, the official drink of. Uh... Cheer wine, America. <laughs> this is the last two-minute warning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cowboys are done. Cowboys ain't easy to love when they're done building fence. It ain't got no gap in it. <laughs>